8381 or online at youngdrycleaning.com. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Hassan Bamp Incorporated. You know, it's crazy. I was going to wear my shirt with the big L on the chest. I was like this close to wearing that shirt with the big L on the chest. Last minute decided not to. And, and, and it's Laverne and Shirley to start the program. Actually, I'm getting this memo just sent to me right now from corporate. Uh, sorry, Mr. Johnson. Wow, they're calling Mr. Johnson now. The Neutral Ground program will not be seen today. No wide open Wednesday. Instead, reruns of Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Drew Brees has other ideas. Yeah, you right. Thank you, Mr. Brees. I think it's pronounced Drew Brees from La Jolla, California. La Jolla. La Jolla. Anyway. It is a wide open Wednesday edition of the program. I like wide open Wednesday. I got my show sheet all prepped up like it's a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. But I love wide open Wednesday because you're the show producer. Whatever you'd like to discuss, it's wide open. Get it? Stuff that maybe isn't being discussed enough. Maybe stuff that isn't being discussed at all. Rouse's Markets phone lines are always open. We don't screen calls and we never cut you off. It's that simple. I never understood the screening process when I started doing talk radio like 30 years ago, early 90s. I was like, if I'm talking about X, Y, and Z, aren't people going to call about X, Y, and Z? And this one guy's, oh, you'll be surprised. You'll get a wild card call. I'm like, bring them on. I don't need a bunch of interns running around handing me, you know, things uh, three four sheets of paper highlighted with sticky notes mike north shore frank gretna like prepared for the caller knowing what the caller is going to ask i'm throwing out topics i pretty much figure the caller will be on those topics and and if not so be it i'm not scared to say i don't know either that's what i love about talk radio there's someone out there listening watching that's an expert We'll call in. It's what they do for a living and throw out some info. That'll be, uh, you know, something you can learn a little bit, something interesting, something entertaining. Rouse's markets, phone lines to participate. 766-9480. 766-9480 is the phone number. Thanks for finding us. Yeah, you're in the right spot. Corey Johnson with your neutral ground. Two big hours on the radio. 939 FM 939 FM You can also check us out at 107.9 FM 107.9 FM Heading outside New Orleans like to BR or the Gulf Coast 600 AM we got you covered there 600 AM The show's on television Cox Channel 4 TV all over Louisiana, Spectrum, Channel 333 Television, all over Louisiana. Live streaming, CoreyTalks.com. Live streaming, CoreyTalks.com. And the show now on YouTube. Last few months, we've been on YouTube. Click to subscribe our YouTube channel. You can watch the program anytime you like, after the fact, podcasting and the like. Four o'clock hour on this wide open Wednesday brought to you by the Lamarck Automotive Complex. Now, you know about the Lamarck Automotive Complex in Kenner. I-10 at Williams Boulevard on the car corner, right on the corner, right on the price. You know about the big store Lamarck Ford for nearly 50 years. Lamarck Lincoln, number one in the state. Ronnie Lamarck from Araby Park doesn't mess around. Well, now... Because Ronnie Lamarck from our Park doesn't mess around. Lamarck Crescent City Ford. That's right. Two Ford dealerships. The original, the big store out by the lake. And now legendary Crescent City Ford is now Lamarck Crescent City Ford in Elmwood in Harahan, Jefferson Highway. Uh Oh, Jason, we have another fly in here again. Or what is it? I hope it's not a mosquito. I'd rather a nasty fly over a mosquito. 
Anyway, this program brought to you by the Lamarck Automotive Complex and now Lamarck Crescent City Ford. You could hang meat on hooks in here. I don't know what would bring a mosquito in here. Anyway, wide open Wednesday, Rouse's Markets phone line 766-9480. In less than 10 minutes, City Councilman Oliver Thomas will join us on the program. This is a tough one. Oliver Thomas's niece was shot in her car. Her friend was murdered. Her friend was murdered. Oliver Thomas's niece is in the hospital with two gunshot wounds, like one to the face, one to the head. Oliver Thomas is going to join us in less than 10 minutes to discuss that. Just crazy violence hitting home. Literally Oliver Thomas's niece. And, and Oliver is, you know, it's interesting because I think with everything that's going on in this guy's life, that, you know, that it, he is where he is in his life right now. And I, I, you can think I'm foolish or I'm naive, but I, I think Oliver Thomas is a good man. And I think he made some mistakes that he regrets. And I think moving forward, he never wants to make any kind of mistake like that again. And uh, he's just been pretty straightforward about a lot of stuff. He's going to join us in a few minutes to discuss it. Oliver Thomas joining us on the program. Helena Moreno and J.P. Morrell. This is pretty interesting. Pardon me. I'm telling you, I got a mosquito in the studio. It's crazy. Helena Moreno and J.P. Morrell, city council people, city of New Orleans. The message for the mayor. They got a message for the mayor. Pay back the 29000 Jeez, um, Pay back the twenty. You see this thing, Jason? Wow. There he is. He's a quick, li he's a quick little devil. Pay back the 29000 in flight upgrades or we'll dock your pay. They'll pull it out of her paycheck every two weeks. I don't know what they're going to pull out. Thousand a month, 500 a week. I have no idea till the 29 grand is paid off. But Helena Moreno, JP Morrell, they're like, we control the finances of the city. We control the salary of the mayor and we can dock her pay for not paying for these first class airline upgrades that you're supposed to pay for. Now, if the mayor wanted to be decent about it, that's why I like the original plan with that thousand dollar cap in travel they talked about. If the mayor's like, I'm going to Seattle, I'm going to talk to Bill Gates at Microsoft. This is big time and it's legit. The council, even behind closed doors, could pass something where she could spend more, not flying first class, but spend more to go on a trip that, that exceeds $1,000 for something that benefits the city. And then in 30 days, because of transparency, reveal, hey, we approved the mayor going to Seattle. Wasn't a junket. We didn't think it was. Our rep's on the line. You think it's a junket? Well, we approved it. So then the council's complicit if it's a junket. But if it's legit, they approve it. It's just simple. It's how things should work. It shouldn't even get down to that. The mayor should be going the cheapest route possible and not taking junk. It's only going on trips that are absolutely necessary where the actual city benefits, not the mayor, where like a job would be created, where a, a dollar could be brought into the economy, maybe a nickel, a dime. Helena Moreno, J.P. Morrell. They got a message for the mayor, pay back the 29 grand in flight upgrades as city ordinance requires, or like you're saying publicly, you're not going to pay it back. We will dock your paycheck. We'll dock your paycheck. I guarantee you, if that's the case, any upgrades will get pulled out of the mayor's future check. The junkets would stop immediately. Period. End of story. That, that would be it. The mayor's not going anywhere on any of these junkets with the excuses she's talking about. Daughter, black female, safety, terrorism, co corona, anxiety. None of those would matter if she had to pay for it. 
She'd be going, you know, I booked this trip six months out and got two tickets for 69 bucks, a Southwest special. She would be doing that kind of stuff. The opposite of $18,600 for first class airline seats to the French Riviera and back. That, that's the kind of stuff that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Oliver Thomas joins us in five minutes. His niece was shot yesterday in New Orleans East. No Latoya.org. No Latoya.org. The recall effort. I'll fill you in on some potential numbers they've got. Corey Johnson with you. Hey, how about Lebanon's Cafe tonight for dinner? How about six lamb chops with a couple of Middle Eastern sides and a little grilled veggie medley for 20 something bucks? Six lamb chops with sides for 20 something bucks? Unheard of. Not tonight at dinner at Lebanon's Cafe. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, it's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models, and it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving. 32,000 square feet under roof, now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anyway. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. For home surveillance, it's Tommy's Lock and Alarms with high-definition night vision surveillance systems letting you see what's going on. Home surveillance that's smart, safe, secure. Tommy's Lock and Alarms. Google them. Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. The Woodhouse Day Spa, the premier day spa experience, now with four area locations. Canal at Carrollton, on the North Shore in Slidell, in Baton Rouge by the Mall of Louisiana, and now in Metairie, West Esplanade at Transcontinental, the Woodhouse Day Spa. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you, or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. This is what Drew Brees thinks about Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Actually, Brees doesn't think at all about Super Discount Store, but they do have the lowest prices allowed by Louisiana law for beer, alcohol, and wine. Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Super Discount Store! Scott Craig of Katie's Restaurant. All of my ingredients are fresh. Nothing comes out of a can here. Nothing. All of our seafood is Louisiana. All of our vegetables are Louisiana vegetables. It's a neighborhood restaurant. Katie's in Mid-City. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Total the Port of New Orleans Napoleon Terminal is nearly doubling in size with four new gantry cranes being installed and over $100 million being invested. That means lots of new jobs, port traffic, and tax dollars for the city. The Port of New Orleans, your port. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at studynola.com. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. 
When you think of Fury's Restaurant in Metairie, you think about fresh local fish like flounder, snapper, and speckled trout, fried, broiled, or grilled. Fury's Restaurant in Metairie. Yeah, you right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you on a wide open Wednesday. Councilman Oliver Thomas is just a few minutes away. You'll want to stick around for that. Just terrible news, like 50 bullets reportedly. 50 bullets fired at a car with two girls inside. They're trying to figure it out that maybe one of the girls, it's one of the girl's boyfriend's car. And it was some type of retaliation. Just a terrible story of violent crime and unnecessary gunplay all over the city in New Orleans. And a lot of folks that just, you know, this kind of street cred mentality and not thinking for a second, just no understanding, not raised to understand consequences. I mean, that's some of the first stuff you learn as a child with correct parenting. It's consequences of your actions and these folks that are in this retaliation mode with their pride and then a bunch of their peers suggesting you have to go out and take care of that person. They go out on some kind of crazy shooting rampage and it's not like they know how to use the guns properly and it's about just throw as much out there as you can and see what happens and hope you hit the target. It's beyond obnoxious. It's a problem in North American cities and it's a problem here in New Orleans. Councilman Oliver Thomas joins us on the program. Oliver, I know it's a hard time. I, I really appreciate you joining us. And I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm so sorry to hear about your niece. That's just beyond terrible. Well, I'm at, I'm at the hospital right now. So uh, uh, we're still prayerful. You know, she's still breathing. And uh, we're, uh, we're using love and prayers uh, to, to make sure she gets through this. What's her prognosis right now? What are the doctors telling you about your niece? Uh, on, on, on uh, you know, on, on every apparatus to keep her alive right now. Wow. That's so sad. It's beyond sad. It, it, the story is she and her friend were in maybe a boyfriend's car yesterday yeah. in the East, and, and 50 bullets were fired into that car or at that car? Uh, yeah, 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 at least 50 casings uh, who got out of SUV. Uh, they jumped out, surrounded the car, and uh, opened fire with semi-automatic weapons in the middle of the day, in broad daylight, with innocent bystanders and traffic and people all around. They didn't care. And only the your niece and her friend in the car, right? Two girls, right? Uh, the young lady uh, uh, was killed. Uh, they intended to kill uh, uh, any and everybody who was in the car, but my my niece is on life support. She's alive now. How, how old's your niece? 25. Jeez, and Pete's 25 years old. Unbelievable. And, and, 25. and, and do you think that I don't think these, these clowns were going after you, these two girls, right? They, they, they it was I a boyfriend's think, vehicle. It, maybe I don't, I, Ka, Ka, we used to be able to say that. I think the code industry amongst these evildoers now, and these killers are, if I can't get you, I'll get somebody close to you. They don't care. Wow. They don't care. They are more aggressive at trying to hurt us than we are at trying to catch them. Wow. That, that says it all right there. They're much more aggressive trying to hurt us than we are at trying to catch them. They... The, the, the criminals and the killers feel so comfortable in our society now that they plan out their capers, they plan their hits, they plan, plan their carjackings, they plan their robberies, they plan their assaults. And we're so uncomfortable that we're cautious leaving our house, getting in our car, going to the gas station, going to the store, picking up our kids, going to a tire shop driving on the interstate. They're living free and unabated. And and we're in stress and trauma mode, doing all the things that we should be able to do through our daily lives without fear. That's how 
jacked up it is, man. That's why that Jefferson Parish judge sentenced that 16-year-old to 55 years in jail. People are sick of it. We do not deserve it. We don't deserve it. If it's us versus them, we need to win. But they think they're winning now. How do we get everybody on board, Oliver? I mean, it's kind of ironical in a way. The black community is much more adversely affected by this. But because it's black on black crime, I mean, I often talk about this. It's like there's sort of this code in the inner city black community. Hey, be critical of black only at the barber shop. But when you leave the barber shop and if a white person's in earshot, you're selling out the black community if you're critical. And I say the opposite. Black folks need to yeah. tell the truth so we can beat the problem because the problem isn't a black problem. It's a New Orleans problem. And everybody's got to get involved. To, to, to uh, well, beat let it. me say this. The black people that I talk to, we care about our community and our black kids. Of course. But they believe that anybody trying to hurt us or harm us needs to be taken out of our society. That's good. I'm I'm glad to hear that because uh, sometimes I, I think that's a problem where there's too much leniency because black folks are, you know, and I get it. I, I know how things were in the past. I'm not blind to it, but I think black folks are a little critical or a little uh, hesitant to be critical of their own. You know, it's like we're giving white people ammunition or something. I, I don't I don't get it. We live in a different kind of society right now. It's like, it's like you're not safe any time of day, anywhere. And that's not the way to live, right? You remember when the criminals used to have to be afraid to, uh, to, to do crime? That we, what, we, we can't do it during the day because we don't want anyone to see us. We can't do it here because that's a good community. No, you, 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 you can't do it. Don't do it over there. Don't kill women or children because, you know, that brings more heat on you. Well, all of those things that used to make them fearful, they don't care about anymore. But we operate cautiously about where we go and what we do and who we're with. Oliver, do, does this situation hitting home make you want to accelerate the city council's pace as far as maybe approving the police chief and the mayor's uh, uh, budget, uh, you know, these, uh, these, this, this plan to I, I, increase I, pay I, for $80 I'm, million I'm, dollars for the police, I'm, the benefits already, package. I'm, you know, you know, Kyrie, I've been the one staying out the middle of the fight. So I'm already there putting it together, uh, trying to do that. And, uh, we just hope that everybody else comes together. It won't be fixed without people coming together. No, uh, you, you got to like at least this plan that you're hearing about the NOPD, right? Uh, uh, a thousand percent, and we have to do more. Yep. Now, I think the DA is is turning the corner. He's changed some of his thoughts. Once he got in, he realized, Absolutely. You know, I got I to gotta be a little more aggressive. Uh, how do we make sure these kind of hyper-woke judges – kind of see the light like the DA. And then, then you've got the, the we got a real fighting chance if police, DA, and judges are all on the same page. It, 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 unless we get everybody on the same page, it, it, we, we can't fix it. It won't work. That has to happen. And I think people are going to demand it. And I think the crazy thing about what happened uh, to me and, and, and with our family now was that you know, it's at everybody's doorstep. Yep. So you, you, you can't just say it can't happen to me. We don't live in that kind of society right now. It's all of us. It's either all of us for us or none of us are safe. Period. I got to get back to the uh, uh, trauma trauma yep. center right now. Oliver, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, Carl. Bye -bye. That's Oliver Thomas. He's live joining us from the hospital where his 25-year-old niece was shot in her car. I think one shot in the head, one in the face. Her friend sitting next to her in the car was shot and killed. Over 50 bullet casings. Oliver Thomas said something pretty significant. They are more aggressive to attack us than we are to catch them. Talking about the criminals, the perpetrators. They're more aggressive...
It's it's unbelievable. It's true. They're more aggressive than we are to catch them. And that that can't be the case. And that is exactly why a Jefferson Parish judge sentenced that 16-year-old kid who violently tried the armed robbery when the armed robbery wasn't working. He runs out of the house and tries to carjack the car from the two the, from the elderly couple. So they said, no, 55 years in jail. And you've got some in the New Orleans community complaining about the 55-year jail sentence. I, I hear you. Focus in on the criminals first, then worry about excessive jail sentences. I mean, it's like these judges. You know, I, I bring up Angel Harris all the time. If you go to Google Angel Harris, it'll pull up her website when she was running for office. It's all about high incarceration rates, criminals that shouldn't be in jail or too high bond for criminals, too long a jail sentence. Nothing about safety first. I'm not saying she's wrong on that stuff, but that is definitely secondary. It's at least the spoke on the wheel and the other spoke is more important. And that's keeping citizens safe. That's number one. Then you can worry about all the other things, pet projects, all you want. But when it's the number one priority, it's the wrong priority. It's the wrong priority. Corey Johnson with you on a wide open Wednesday. Helm paint and decorating's with you for over 50 years. I just painted my house. You know, I went to Elm Paint and Decorating, Benjamin Moore Primer, Benjamin Moore Paint, two coats, lifetime warranty. I'll literally never, ever paint my house again. But because it's affordable, if I want to change the color a decade or so from now, I can. You know where to go. Helm Paint and Decorating. Kanye West was seen shopping at Super Discount Store in Chalmette. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, Walt Disney, Nike, Google. Okay, I think Kanye was talking about something else entirely. Super Discount Store on Paris Road in Chalmette. The Port of New Orleans Napoleon Terminal is nearly doubling in size with four new gantry cranes being installed and over $100 million being invested. That means lots of new jobs, port traffic, and tax dollars for the city. The Port of New Orleans, your port. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Enjoy outdoor dining on the streetcar line, under the oak trees, Lebanon's Cafe, the finest in Middle Eastern cuisine, Carrollton at Jeanette, Lebanon's Cafe. Tommy's Lock and Alarms is now hiring service and installation technicians. Great benefits, great pay, take home vehicle. Apply today, Tommy's Lock and Alarms.com. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. Ladies and gentlemen, in this Lamarck Automotive Complex, there's something called quick lane. Tires, wheel alignments, you know, struts, servicing your transmission. We do an all makes and models. It doesn't have to have been purchased from us. It's for you. It handles your lifestyle with your budget in mind. And we want to get you in and out as quick as possible. Quick lane, you got to come see it. You're going to love the experience right there at Williams Boulevard in Kenner. 
Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business. 504 556 0809. Dave Miet. INSAgency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business. 504 556 0809. Dave Miet. INSAgency.com. Did you know Rouse's sells only Angus beef? Angus beef's natural marbling means more succulence and flavor. Whether you choose Rouse's USDA Prime, Choice, or Select, it'll be only Angus beef when you get it at Rouse's. Tastes like home. Come to Fausto's Italian Bistro. Age-old Italian recipes like the calamari fritti or spaghetti and meatballs. Lunch Monday to Friday. Dinner Monday to Saturday. 5.30 vets a block before Dorignax. Fausto's Italian Bistro. Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. Got caught in the green room again for too long. Your radio folks don't know it, but if you're watching on YouTube or television, you're like, look at Corey coming in the studio five seconds late. That was pretty emotional there with Oliver Thomas and that comment. They are more aggressive to attack us than we are to catch them. That pretty much says it all. That really pretty much says it all. Oliver Thomas just joining us to start the program. His niece was shot twice, once in the face, once in the head yesterday. Her friend in the car shot multiple times and killed. Thomas says a car pulled up in the east. Four uh, four men jump out of an SUV and at least 50 bullet casings into the car. Really not believable, but you know it's true. I'm not saying it's not what someone's lying. I'm just saying it it's it's shocking. And and, and Oliver's right. It's it's so brazen now. It's so brazen now. There's there's no rules or we don't do it in the daytime. We, it's women involved. The grandmother's involved. Children could be there. There's none of that anymore. You know, any, I know it's crazy, like criminal perpetrator rules. They're thrown out the window. These are just brazen criminals that do not care. Consequences, repercussions, uh, don't understand it. Just don't understand that. Don't understand it. It doesn't mean anything to them. They just react. It's impulsive. React. Ready. Fire. Aim. It's just all from the gut. All emotion. No logic. No brain. No thinking of what the future holds if I do this. None of that. It's it's children reacting to ice cream or candy, and there's no way to change that. And I say children, children like mentality. Uh, when and it's about guns and murder and violence, but the thinking is like a child. It is got to get the ice cream, got to get the candy, and the focus is there. And if you don't get it, the child's crying. And these kids ain't crying. These kids, young adults, ain't crying. They're out shooting the weapons kill or be killed. They don't give a crap. They certainly don't care about us and society and how we live or any of that. The opposite kind of ticked off about it because they feel they'll never, ever get there. And the person that does, they're like the, the NBA or NFL player. The older guy that realized the gangbanging thing wouldn't work, changed his life, got married, had kids, family, set his life straight and changed. Those are the rarities. That's the guy that got out. Everyone else gets shot up or killed. Sad story. No, I, I, I wanted to bring up this you know, maybe docking the mayor's pay, but I'm not, I, I, I was like Right when Oliver Thomas was like, I need to go, I was about to say, Oliver, why don't you take off? I wasn't going to get in anything else. Hey, Fausto's Italian Bistro opens their doors in less than 30 minutes. 
but 21 minutes, five o'clock. They'll go for four hours tonight, five to 9 p.m. for dinner, Monday through Thursday. They go till 10 o'clock on Friday and Saturday night. Dinner Monday through Saturday, lunch Monday through Friday. Yeah, great lunch menu, lunch specials. Who doesn't love Sicilian and Italian? Come on. New Orleans-inspired Sicilian and Italian. Authentic, absolutely flavorful and wonderful. It's Fausto's Italian Bistro on Vets. Convenient, easy. Go check them out tonight for dinner. Fausto's Italian Bistro on Vets. Helena Moreno, J.P. Morrell, city council people, a message for the mayor. Mayor, pay back the 29000 in flight upgrades or we'll dock it from your paycheck. We control your salary. We control your paycheck. We will dock the twenty nine grand from your paycheck unless you repay it. I don't know how much the mayor has in her campaign account because I'm sure that's where she'll get the money from. Just pull a uh, John Alario or a uh, Heitmeyer or uh, who's your boy, the DA uh, on the North Shore, Reed, Walter Reed. Pull one of those gimmicks and, and use your campaign fund for personal expenses. I don't know how she's going to come up with the twenty nine grand. But I love Helena and Mar- Helena Moreno and J.P. Morrell with this. We'll dock your pay. Pay it back or we'll dock your pay. I guarantee you the mayor is going to pay this back now if that's the case. Because she will pay it back out of her campaign fund and justify that somehow. And, and, and it'll just be another unethical, immoral thing that she'll she'll deal with. But unlike where the council has retaliation, we'll dock your pay. The ethics board in the state, is is nothing all bark and no bite no one pays attention to that come on politicians are worried about the ethics board but folks are worried about bobby jindal's ethics reforms are you, you're joking right these hack politicians it's the opposite they love all their freebies and crap they 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 think they're entitled to that cuz they're not about civic duty they're about oh wow I'm a politician I got elected they have wa- warped egos yeah you you got elected at you know, to, to run the Hugo plant. You're producing the Hugo car. Nothing to be proud of being a Louisiana politician. I, the opposite. I just hunker down and try to right the ship, try to do your job right, not have any kind of ego. No, I think if this potential ordinance sticks where Moreno and Morell dock the mayor's paycheck, she will pay the 29 grand back out of a campaign account and then just have the ethics board to deal with, which won't do anything. So good news is the city's probably going to get the 29 grand back for these flight upgrades. And also it could keep the mayor from going on future junkets because let's get this perfectly straight. The daughter, you don't know what it's like to be a black woman walking in her shoes about safety, anxiety, Corona, terrorism, whatever. She will not be upgrading to first class anymore. The junkets will stop. Anything on her dime coming out of her wallet, her purse, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. So the junkets will stop big time because, you know, you want to know it's just obviously painfully clear. When someone buys a ticket three days out for a three and a half day trip to the French Riviera and they, they buy first class and it's $18,600 for the round trip flight alone for three and a half days where you don't even recover from, from the jet lag, basically you're, you're hyper wealthy or you're saving a multi-million dollar deal and you have to do it. Or you're some politician hack politician going on a city taxpayer finance junket because rich people don't even do that gimmick spend 18,600 bucks on a first class flight for three and a half days in the French Riviera. Rich people don't do that. Only certain wealthy folks and folks that are trying to save a multi-million dollar deal and have to get face to face with someone. That's it. So no, there's no way in hell ever, never going to happen ever again. The mayor will never pay out of her own pocket 10% of that 18,600. 18,600. She wouldn't spend 1800 bucks on, on, on a plane flight. 
I don't blame her. That's pretty ridiculous. No, I love Helena Moreno and JP Morrell's idea of docking the mayor's paycheck. Docking her check. Pay back the 29 grand or we'll dock it out of your paycheck. That's brilliant. It's a great idea. That's how you got to do it, especially when you have a belligerent mayor that says, I'm not going to pay it back and, and claims it as city business. I remember Ray Nagin would get all these city meals, go eat with his wife all the time on the city credit card at high end restaurants. 100 plus bucks every single meal, big tip, all on the city, acting like, you know, he's rich or wealthy, living high on the hog. When questioned about it, he literally, his answer was so Ray Nagin, and that's Latoya Cantrell's type answer, just pathetic, weak, and lame. You know, I'm, I'm sitting there, and inevitably someone will come up and ask me something as mayor. So it turns it from a, just me and my wife having dinner to I'm a, the mayor of New Orleans. It's city business. I'm like, wow, that's how you justify the meal. You're the mayor. Someone's going to come up to you in public and say hello and acknowledge you. That's how it works in real life. That doesn't mean, oh, I can use the city credit card now. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. It really is. Absolutely amazing. Corey Johnson with you on a wide open Wednesday. Hey, I got a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate or two to give away. Rouse's Markets phone lines 504 766 9480. 504 766 9480. The River Shack on River Road by the Parish Line, right at the end of Oak Street. What was the River Shack originally? What was the River Shack originally built as? That original building. It's been there for decades and decades and decades. Behind the Snow Wizard building, once a car dealership. That'd be a good, there's a number. I come up with the question just on the blue, Jason. It's just, it's incredible. Why are you falling asleep, Jason? You're making me drowsy. Oh, what was the car dealership in the Snow Wizard building? I used to go there as a kid. My mommy would bring me in there as a child after I get picked up from St. Andrews on Oak Street. And I'd ask to go there. And maybe every 10 times my mom would bring me in there and I'd grab a couple of pamphlets from the cars. And, you know, I still want that car. I still want that car to this day. Been want one since I was a child before I could drive. Still a dream to have one. The River Shack on the Parish Line. What was that building originally built as? 766-9480. And the Snow Wizard building, what car dealership was in there originally? 766-9480. You got answers? I got 50 big bucks for you at the Woodhouse Day Spa. Corey Johnson with you. Wide open Wednesday. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Which Metro New Orleans area restaurant made CNN's top 50 in America and Thrilllist.com's top 25 and has served presidents at the White House for over 40 years? Treyen in Mandeville. For over 30 years, one of the premier security companies in New Orleans and South Louisiana has been Tommy's Lock and Alarms. And right now, Tommy's Lock and Alarms is hiring. Come and work for one of the best security companies in the region with great pay, great benefits, and a take-home vehicle. Tommy's Lock and Alarms is hiring, and they're looking for you. To apply for one of these coveted positions, go online to Tommy'sLockandAlarms.com. Tommy's Lock and Alarms. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at studynola.com. 
The Port of New Orleans Napoleon Terminal is nearly doubling in size with four new gantry cranes being installed and over $100 million being invested. That means lots of new jobs, port traffic, and tax dollars for the city. The Port of New Orleans, your port. Rouse's Markets means convenience. Every one of our 65 locations opens at 7 a.m., some at 6.30, and they're open until 10 p.m., with some staying open till 11 or even midnight. Convenience. Rouse's Markets. Tastes like home. Have a painting project but can't decide on the perfect color? At Helm Paint and Decorating, we offer half pine paint samples in any Benjamin Moore color for under $5. So you can test potential paint colors before investing in a full gallon. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore. Let us steer you in the right direction. Silver City's local maintenance keeps you cool. The city's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa with four area locations, New Orleans, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and Metairie. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. nola.woodhousespas.com Ford F-150, number one seller in America. What about in the USA? Uh, let's see, what about in the world? Who sells more trucks than Ford? Nobody. It's because the Lamar team is the real team. All that makes it happen is one goal. Everybody having a great experience at Lamar Ford. We became number one for a reason, because we're good. And we need to prove it every day, every deal, all the time. Recently, Kim Kardashian was seen at Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Let's party! Can you think of any other celebrities that won't sue us? Super Discount Store in Chalmette. The lowest price is allowed by Louisiana law on wine, alcohol, and cold beer. 3235 Paris Road. <laughs> If you love Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City, you're going to love Bienvenue in Harahan. The same folks bringing a little of that New Orleans flavor to Hickory Avenue. If you love Katie's, come to Bienvenue on Hickory Avenue in Harahan. Yeah, you right. Wow, Corey Johnson back at you. Unreal, huh, Jason? What is this silly technical crap? Let's head to the phone lines. Rouse's Markets phone lines. Jeez. All right, Mr. Mousy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Wow, what a nightmare. To the phone lines we go, Rouse's Markets phone lines. Corey Johnson with you. We're heading to the North Shore where Lance joins us in Slidell. How you doing, Lance? Good. How are you? Doing well, man. Thanks for calling the program. Thanks for checking us out. All right. What's on your mind? Uh, I, know, I know the car dealership was River Road Audi. River Road Audi, huh? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept that. I, I'm going to say you're half right. Don't say any more, Lance, but I like that answer. That's accurate. You are correct. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for her, Johnny? Who's going to the Woodhouse in Slidell, I-10 and Gauze? The wife? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're right. Hey, any other thoughts before we uh, put you on hold so Jason can get some info from you, Lance? Uh, not really. Just... Uh pretty much point on with your show so you're the man i like hearing that point on lance and slidell don't go anywhere jason's gonna get some info from you yeah, there's a woodhouse day spa right near you in slidell pat is in metri aka new orleans west home of traffic lots and lots of traffic what up pat yes sir the answer it was old southport gambling hall Old Southport Hall was a gambling hall? Come on, gambling's illegal in Jefferson Parish, Pat. That's why it was here. Yep, I think the uh, that Salvation Army store was like a bowling lane before that, and I think it was a gambling hall before that. There were like three or four right on the parish line, I think, in the day. I don't remember any of that. Do you? Yes, I do. Wow. How old are you, Pat? 
76. So I guess you got, yeah, I'm 56. You got me by 20 years. So I guess you were a little boy and you remember the little gambling area right there at the parish line. I wasn't a boy. I was like 18. Nice. The O'Dwyer's owned it. They still live on in a house right next to it. Wow. The, 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 the O'Dwyer's owned the Salvation Army bowling store lane. That was the gambling hall, right? <laughs> Well, they owned it, but they had a silent partner. They own Southport <laughs> Hall too. You're saying, Pat? They own Southport Hall yes, also. They did. Wow. They still, some of the family still lives in Las Vegas. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, the O'Dwyers. Yeah, I know that area well. Interesting, Pat. You are correct. Hang on. All right. Don't go anywhere, Pat and Metairie. We're going to tighten you up. We're staying in Metairie. Scott joins us on the program. What up, Scott? How you doing, Corey? Doing well, man. I think I got the answer to, well, part of the answer. Uh, it was a Porsche dealership, wasn't it, on that, River Road? That's the part I remember. But, yeah, I guess it was Porsche Audi together. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember seeing, like, 911s in the window there when I was a, a much, much younger man many years ago. Me, too. It was a Porsche dealership. I guess it was Porsche Audi because they were connected. And uh, I think. No, go ahead. No, I think it was. That, that's that's. I, I got to say, I got to be honest, I didn't remember the Audi part, but the Porsche part, I did remember. Yeah, I didn't remember the Audi part either. I'm just assuming he's right because of Porsche, Audi's connection, all under Volkswagen or whatever. I don't know what the story was back then, if it was the same deal or not. But I remember the Porsche part. I always wanted a 911, still want a 911, 40, you know, <laughs> 50 years later, 50 years later. And uh, yeah. I, I'd beg my mom, can we go to the Porsche dealership and go in there, look at a car, I'd grab a pamphlet or two, and, you know, and we go home. <laughs> no Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I, you know, start somewhere, man. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, and my mom was cool to bring me over there, you know? It was it was Absolutely. Cool. You were lucky for that. Exactly. Fortunate to have a good mom. Still do. 91, she still drives. Smart, healthy, lucky. Hey, Scott, don't go That's anywhere, all, all right? Excellent work, Scott in Metri. Yep, he's picking up a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate. Same with Pat, same with Lance. They're all going to the Woodhouse Day Spa. Yeah, the River Shack at the Parish Line. What was that building originally? Still there. That was a casino. That Salvation Army store that some of you maybe remember as a bowling alley. I don't remember any of that. Before it was the bowling alley, it was a casino. And I believe there were at least one, maybe two more buildings, maybe in that area next to Southport Hall, that big lot. Maybe that was another casino, but right on the parish line, slot machines, casinos and the like. And then uh, state police went in and shut it all down. There was a rumor that Southport Hall, they have a tunnel that goes under, I guess that's Monticello and pops up. In, in in Orleans Parish, so you could escape. There's no tunnel from Southport Hall. But anyway, lots of good stories. So, yeah, the River Shack. Boy, I said River Shack. That's incorrect. Not the River Shack. The uh, Southport Hall. I keep saying Southport Hall. I mean, I keep saying River Shack. Southport Hall. Southport Hall was the casino. Sorry for the confusion. River Shack's down River Road at, what, uh, Shrewsbury? Anyway, Southport Hall was a casino. Yeah, and the Snow Wizard building was a Porsche dealership, and maybe Porsche Audi, Lance might be right. I, I only remember the Porsche part. Anyway, excellent work. Picking up 50 big bucks at the Woodhouse Day Spa. Four area locations, Mid-City, New Orleans, Metairie near North Kenner, the North Shore, Slidell at I-10 and, uh, and Gauze, Baton Rouge by the Mall of Louisiana, and a fifth location coming soon in the next couple of months this fall to Mandeville. Yeah, you're right, a Mandeville Woodhouse Day Spa. Oliver Thomas joined us earlier this hour, a somber Oliver Thomas. His niece, he joined us live from the hospital, his niece, Shot yesterday in the face, in the head. Her friend shot up and murdered. Four gentlemen get out of an SUV and unload on them in the east. Helena Moreno, JP Morrell, a message to the mayor. Pay back the 29 grand in flight upgrades or we'll dock your paycheck because we can. 
and you should pay back the upgrades. It's required by city ordinance. Five o'clock powwow is next. 93.9 FM 107.9 FM New Orleans. Don't move. We're coming right back. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Where can you find shish kebab in New Orleans? Lamb, beef, chicken, shrimp, plus all your other Mediterranean favorites. Lebanon's Cafe on the streetcar line. Lunch, dinner, and shish kebab. Lebanon's Cafe. For home surveillance, it's Tommy's Lock and Alarm. With smart home technology, control lights, locks, cameras, thermostat, and your alarm. All from your phone or laptop. Smart, safe, secure. Tommy's Lock and Alarms. Google them. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet. INSAgency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto Home Flood Business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet. INSAgency.com. When you think of Fury's restaurant in Metairie, you think about their daily lunch specials like red beans and rice, black eyed peas, white butter beans, liver and onions. Daily lunch specials. Fury's restaurant in Metairie. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at studynola.com. The Woodhouse Day Spa, the premier day spa experience, is now more convenient than ever. Now open the Woodhouse Day Spa, Metairie location, West Esplanade at Transcontinental. Metairie and Kenner's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa. Rouse's, New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's has the only full-service grocery stores both in the French Quarter on Royal Street and in the CBD on Barone in the old Sewell Cadillac building. The Rouse's on the River, Chapatulas at Napoleon, is in a century-old warehouse. And uptown on Ferret at the corner of Valence is Rouse's all-new boutique store. With seven locations in Orleans Parish, Rouse's is New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's Markets. Taste like home. Hi, this is Joey Helm. My dad, Bunky Helm, had a vision. A vision of a locally family-owned store serving the residential and commercial paint needs of New Orleans. I think Dad would be proud of today's Helm paint and decorating. And here's why. We have the best technical staff in the business, providing the best color matching service in Southeast Louisiana. Perfect matching for any color and any brand. And we'll save your color so you don't have to save those old cans. Helm paint offers free two-hour delivery. Our in-store decorators will assist you on deciding what color and type of paint to best showcase your home. But most importantly, as your local independent Benjamin Moore dealer, our products provide the greatest value in the paint industry, superior coverage, and Benjamin Moore paint simply covers better and lasts longer. New Orleans is a city of vibrant color, and no one else provides the paints of New Orleans like Helm Paint and Decorating. Visit any of our six locations or online at helmpaint.com. Helm Paint, Helm Paint, let us do you right. Helm Paint, and supply. Super Discount Store in Chalmette. 3235 Paris Road. The lowest price allowed by Louisiana law on wine, alcohol, and beer. Worth the drive from anywhere. If you're throwing a party and eat wine, alcohol, and cold beer, Super Discount Store in Chalmette. 
Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes are magazine, as unique as you. In New Orleans, we don't eat to live. We live to eat. More is better. Scott Craig of Katie's. That is our slogan. More is better at Katie's. It means more of everything. Not just more food, more smiles, more friendship, more love. More, more, more. When you do something, you have to do it right. It's all about more. And it's all more of the good things. Get more at Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City. I swear, every time I hear that, I think it's, I hear the beeping noise, I think it's uh, the $6 million man. It's MTV. Hi, everyone. I'm Nina Blackwood. Uh Uh-oh, Jason, I smell a $50 Woodhouse Day Spot trivia question. Let's see, Nina Blackwood... And then there was, yeah, we sure, come on. I, I think there are three other originals, right? Yep, the black guy, the white dude with the curly black hair, and then another chick, the, the blonde, the blonde chick. Nina Blackwood, oh, Nina Blackwood was the blonde, the brunette, actually. Nina Blackwood was my little short, petite brunette. So the original four MTV disc jockeys. I told you about Nina Blackwood, who actually was a brunette, but dyed her hair blonde. Then there's a little brunette that you can just pick up by the waist and toss there. She's tiny. And then the black guy and the white dude with the curly hair. Give me the three other MTV disc jockeys, video jocks, whatever they're called. And I'll give you a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate. Rouse's Markets phone lines are open 504 766 9480. 504 766 9480. How about two of the three? Two of the three remaining disc jockeys at MTV. We mentioned Nina Blackwood. How about the little petite brunette? How about the black guy? How about the white dude with the black curly hair? The, bl- the white dude had more of a fro than the black dude kind of did in a way. A looser fro. Oh, boy. Anyway, five o'clock powwow on this wide open Wednesday where you're the show producer. Brought to you by Katie's in Mid-City. More is better. More of the good things. That's what you'll find at Katie's, the quintessential New Orleans neighborhood restaurant and a great wind down spot like right now when you're getting off work. Lots of New Orleans characters at Katie's in Mid-City. And you folks out in Harahan, River Ridge, not a lot of restaurant choices out there. A lot of affluent folks in River Ridge and Harahan, Elmwood area, and not a, not a lot of restaurants. I'm not going to say it's a restaurant desert, but there's not a lot out there. You know, there's like, uh, I like Oak Oven, the little Italian joint's not bad. The Thai joint across the street's pretty good. Um, I guess, uh, Scyther's seafood's all right. Um, you know, it's, it's not that much out there. You almost have to head out by like, you know, crispy, crispy cream donuts out, out towards Clearview and head over to nephews, that Italian joint over there. But I got one for you. The Katie's of Harahan right in the curve on Hickory. You don't have to go to Katie's in mid city. You can go to Bienvenue in Harahan and get a little of that mid-city Katie's flavor in Harahan near River Ridge, Elmwood, Old Jefferson, Katie's in mid-city, and the Katie's of Harahan, Bienvenue, 5 o'clock powwow on this wide open Wednesday brought to you by Katie's. We started off with the MTV theme song. I mentioned Nina Blackwood, 
one of the four original MTV disc jockeys, video jocks, whatever they are, name two of the remaining three. White dude, black guy, and a little brunette chick. White girl. Those are your disc jockeys at MTV. What were they called? Video jocks? VJ? Oh, God. Ridiculous. Anyway, Corey Johnson with you on a wide open Wednesday edition of the program. No disc jockeys here. I'm not a former disc jockey. I didn't spin records and then said, Nito, I'll transition to talk radio. The lightweights are done. It's real talk radio from four to six o'clock. We're not scared. Telling it like it is. T telling it like it is. One day we might be praising Democrats or Republicans. The next day we could be bashing them. Just where the facts lead us, ma'am. I don't have any agenda where. Let me try to find stuff that supports my right wing ideology. Let me try to find things that supports my left wing ideology. I just go where the facts lead me. Last hour, Oliver Thomas joined us on the program, New Orleans City Councilman. His niece was shot yesterday in a car in New Orleans East, middle of the day. An SUV pulls up. Four gentlemen get out. I'm using that word loosely. Four males get out and unload on the car. And it was two women only. Oliver Thomas's niece and another girl. The other girl shot and murdered. Oliver Thomas's niece, one shot to the face, one shot to the head. She's in critical condition at the hospital. Oliver Thomas joined us last hour from the hospital and said this about the criminals, these perpetrators, these violent criminals, these murderers. They are more aggressive to attack us than we are to catch them. They are much more aggressive to attack us than we are to catch them. That says a lot. Just really sad. I didn't have time to bring it up because, I mean, Oliver Thomas is at the hospital, you know, hoping his niece can pull through somehow. I just not going to talk about other stuff. That was it. And we let him go after about eight minutes. But some big news from the city council today, Helena Moreno and JP Morrell, a message for the mayor. Hey, mayor, do the right thing. Follow the law. Follow what you're supposed to do as mayor of New Orleans, the ordinance. Any upgrade beyond, you know, going for the lowest dollar fare or rate at a hotel, any upgrade, you pay the difference. You're welcome to upgrade. You pay the difference. You pay the difference. And it's about a $29,000 difference. The mayor's flights cost roughly 10 times what a regular flight on that plane costs sitting in coach. So sit with the masses, the peons in the back in a narrower seat, and it costs 10 times less than sitting up front with less people in a wider first class seat. I want the first class seat too, but we don't buy them because they're 10 times the cost of the regular seat. First class is for rich and wealthy. That's why when you walk in the plane, you're looking around first class like, who are these people? They're flying first class. Wow, that dude's got money. That woman's got money. That's what everybody's thinking when they walk by first class back to coach. And the first class folks are sitting up there going, yeah, I'm the man, I'm the woman. Well, that's what LaToya the Destroyer likes. They're $29,000 in overages just this year, upgrades in flights. J.P. Morell and Helena Moreno said, pay back the $29,000 in flight upgrades or we'll dock your paycheck. We'll pull it out every week or two, and over time, you'll pay back the $29,000. Maybe it's 1000 a month. Maybe it's 500 bucks a check. So in 29 months, in two and a half years, you'll pay back the twenty nine grand. Anyway, I love it. I think it's a brilliant idea. The council controls the salary of the mayor, the payments of the mayor. Yeah, dock her check until she pays back the 29 grand. And, and when the mayor, like, first off, one, on one hand, is trying to justify it, you know, but safety, my daughter, you don't know what it's like to be a black female, anxiety, you know, I ate spaghetti and meatballs last night, I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express, whatever. 
And then all of a sudden it's, am I a city employee or not? I'm the mayor. I'm, I'm an elected official. I'm not a quote employee. It's just unbelievable. Just trying to weasel out of it, trying to make excuses. Is there anything worse than excuses? I told you about a friend of mine. Doesn't even know it. Everything is a friggin' excuse. Everything. Hey, man, we'll meet you at one for lunch. Yeah, man, but I got to go get something. What? Got to stop here first. Got to do the gotta, gotta, gotta. I would have made it, but, but this happened, that. It's like, geez, I mean, don't care. Don't want to hear your excuses. It's ridiculous. I, I don't hang out with the dude as much because it's excuses every time I talk to him. It's unbelievable. No one wants to hear excuses. Excuses are for losers. No Latoya.org. No Latoya.org. When we come back, I'll fill you in on the latest numbers, where they stand, where they're heading. No Latoya.org, the official recall site of the mayor of New Orleans. You can check out that site and find out where the next, you know, signing pop-up will be multiple ones usually no latoya.org i'll fill you in on that when we return the flood control east leaving a gate open at the lake in bayou st john and i don't know could have flooded mid-city if they wouldn't have caught it but go check out bayou st john right now it's high sewage and water board trying to pump it down Corey johnson with you don't move Custom window treatments can enhance the look and value of your home. At Helm Paint and Decorating, we're proud to offer custom plantation-style window shutters by Scandia. Perfect for any window, including large frames, French doors, sliding doors, and arches. American-made SL300 shutters are available in many colors to match your personal decor. We'll come out to measure, and you'll receive fast delivery. Plus, they're virtually maintenance-free. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Helm Paint and Supply. The Port of New Orleans Napoleon Terminal is nearly doubling in size with four new gantry cranes being installed and over $100 million being invested. That means lots of new jobs, port traffic, and tax dollars for the city. The Port of New Orleans, your port. Young's Dry Cleaning, with two walk-up locations with personal service. Young's on Claiborne and Young's on Harrison Avenue in Lakeview. Young's Dry Cleaning. Call 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Ford F-150, number one seller in America. What about in the USA? Uh, Let's see, what about in the world? Who sells more trucks than Ford? Nobody. It's because the Lamar team is the real team. All that makes it happen is one goal. Everybody having a great experience at Lamar Ford. We became number one for a reason, because we're good. And we need to prove it every day, every deal, all the time. Trey Yen in Mandeville, a New Orleans tradition for over 40 years, serving the finest Louisiana-inspired Chinese cuisine. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Trey Yen. The city's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa with four area locations, New Orleans, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and Metairie. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. nola.woodhousespas.com. Super Discount Store in Chalmette. 3235 Paris Road. The lowest price allowed by Louisiana law on wine, alcohol, and beer. Worth the drive from anywhere. If you're throwing a party and eat wine, alcohol, and cold beer, Super Discount Store in Chalmette. Rouse's Market is hiring. With 65 stores, fuller part-time employment, and flexible scheduling, Rouse's has a job for you. Or maybe even a career. Apply at any Rouse's store or online at rouse's.com. Come to Fausto's Italian Bistro. Age-old Italian recipes like the calamari fritti or spaghetti and meatballs. 
Lunch Monday to Friday, dinner Monday to Saturday, 530 Vets a block before Dorignax, Fausto's Italian Bistro. For over 30 years, one of the premier security companies in New Orleans and South Louisiana has been Tommy's Lock and Alarms. And right now, Tommy's Lock and Alarms is hiring. Come and work for one of the best security companies in the region with great pay, great benefits, and a take-home vehicle. Tommy's Lock and Alarms is hiring, and they're looking for you. To apply for one of these coveted positions, go online to Tommy'sLockandAlarms.com. Tommy's Lock and Alarms. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Yeah, you right, Crescent City and beyond. Corey Johnson back at you. Thanks for finding us. Oh, so fine. 93.9 FM. 93.9 FM taking you home in style. Cox Channel 4 Television till 530. Spectrum Channel 333 Television till 5.30. Hey, we're on YouTube till 6 o'clock. You can check out the show after the fact on YouTube, Anchor, iTunes, Spotify. Oliver Thomas joined us last hour, a somber Oliver Thomas. Yesterday, his niece was shot once in the face, once in the head in a car in New Orleans East. The female passenger, her friend with her, was shot and killed. Four assailants jump out of an SUV shoot up the vehicle, at least 50 bullet casings found at the scene. Broad daylight, middle of the day, two women in the vehicle shot up, one killed, one murdered. 25-year-old niece of Oliver Thomas fighting for her life. Keep Oliver Thomas, his niece, Oliver Thomas, his family, friends in your thoughts and prayers. Oliver Thomas joined us last hour in the 4 o'clock hour. You can check that out. Helena Moreno, J.P. Morell of the New Orleans City Council. A message for the mayor. Pay back the $29,000 in flight upgrades or we'll dock the money from your paycheck. I love it because it's legitimate. The upgrades aren't legitimate. The the upgrades are the mayor doing it because she thought she could get away with it. She thinks it's this perk that she can pull off, like the the abuse of the credit card, eating all these free high-end meals, you know, on the city's dime. It's C. Ray Nagin petty BS is what it is. It's nonsense. You know, I remember when I was running for council at large back in, in 08, running for a council at large position. I was going to have a cell phone from the city, a, a suburban or expedition, a big SUV from the city fuel card and, and a policeman to drive me around a cop, an NOPD officer. I remember I was like, I have my own cell phone, so I don't need that. I drive my own car. A, I have my own car. B, I don't need anyone driving me around. I'll drive myself. I'm a councilman for crying out loud. I don't need any police protection or a driver. It's ridiculous. There's never, ever an event I need to get to and I need a police escort. It never I'm a council person for crying out loud, a nobody. And then as far as the cop, I was like, you're going to point one to me. I'll st- he can stand the beat on MLK and Aretha Castle Haley. All right. How about that? Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. What, what we do in the city. Absurd expenses. No, when I was running, I was like, I'm not going to do this. The mayor has the opposite mentality. What can I take? What can I get away with? What can I spend city taxpayer money on for me and myself, my family, where I can benefit, where I can have some perk or freebie? Because I deserve it. I, I don't know what she thinks. It's immoral. It's unethical. It's just low, low standards. Not honorable. Not a lot of pride there. Just see Ray Nagin is petty, lame, pathetic, weak. Now, and any of you folks out there that try to justify it, you got the same problem. 
You're some failure or semi-failure, some BS artist yourself, maybe even like a criminal. Maybe you have deviant behavior running through your veins, part of your DNA. And you try to justify this for the mayor? First class flights and she's the mayor and she's trying to bring economic development and it's her job. You're, you're actually buying into that? You 19 people? Absolutely insane. Now, I love Helena Moreno and J.P. Morell's ordinance. By the way, Helena Moreno's Latina and J.P. Morell's black. So no, no white people involved in this. And a female's involved and a male. It's perfect. Perfect. The message for the mayor, pay back the 29 grand in flight upgrades or we'll dock your paycheck. Love it. Brilliant idea. Probably about a grand a month. Get paid every two weeks, maybe 500 bucks every two weeks coming out of that check. The mayor's not going to let that happen. The mayor's not going to let 500 bucks a paycheck, a thousand bucks a month or so get pulled out of her check. What she's going to do is Okay, I'm going to pay the 29 grand back from my campaign fund if she's got 29 grand in her campaign account cuz there's no fundraising going on. There's nowhere to go from here. The next stop for the mayor is running some BS nonprofit where she'll take 90% of the donations for salary. That's inevitable because there's nothing the mayor brings to the table for anyone where let me hire Latoya Cantrell cuz she's great at this. She's so painfully average. And there's a lot of baggage from her being mayor where folks don't want her around. And there's been past people hired politicians. Sometimes it works. HRI, they hired Sidney Bartholomew. He, he works for that company. He has connections with other mayors, other cities. They work in other cities. That works. I think Bill Jefferson's daughter got hired at a law firm locally because it was Bill Jefferson's daughter. Mark Morial was hired locally as a law firm. I mean, that, that went away so quickly because they're like, after a while, they're like, okay, we're paying them. They're doing nothing. They don't even work. And they're not bringing in any clients. Why are we doing this? And they cut them loose. It's like advertising. You know, it's like clients on this show or any show, any advertising, you know, give you the check for nothing. Give Hey, let's give them cash for free. Have fun. You know, they get results. They keep paying. They don't. They pull out. Simple as that. Simple as that. I love Helena Moreno and J.P. Morell's potential ordinance. Pay back the 29 grand, Mayor. Or not potential ordinance, potential follow through and enforce an existing ordinance. Pay back the 29 grand in flight upgrades or we'll dock your paycheck. It's perfect. It's going to do two things. The mayor isn't going to allow it pulled out of her check. She's going to pay back the money with her campaign account, in my opinion, pull a, a Lario Walter Reed use campaign funds for personal, you know, pleasure, personal expenses, height Myers, all these jokers do this. Walter E got popped for it. No. And then I think it's going to stop the junkets. Y you think the mayor's going to pay for her own upgrade to first class, protect her daughter, protect herself. You've never walked in the shoes of a black female. You don't know. Blah, 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 blah. None of it. Anxiety. None of it. She'll be buying the ticket three months in advance, you know, flying Southwest. Anyway, I, I like that a lot. No Latoya.org. They will not reveal numbers, how many signatures they have. And the reasoning I, I think is smart. And I agree with what they're doing. All that would do is incite folks from the opposition from the other side. And it's true. The more momentum the gain they gain, the more signatures they get, they get this marginal side will, will fight that. There's already folks fighting it. There's folks in the, you know, what do you want to call it? Hardcore inner city, black community, kind of the bold life, soul coup type of mentality thinkers, you know, this everyday wake up about race and the white man's the devil and all this crap, blame the white person for all the grief in our lives, blah, 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 blah. Those folks do go off on this type of, uh, deal. They, they like the mayor. They're, they think this is some white-led thing, Republican-led thing. 
This is what I was talking to Oliver Thomas about in the four o'clock hour. Black folks in the barbershop, they'll be critical as hell of other black folks. Laugh at them, make fun of them. And then there's sort of this unwritten rule outside the barbershop. Boy, you're selling out the black community if you talk bad, if you're critical about the black community in front of white people or something like that. It's insane. It, it, it is not only required, it's necessary. It, it's about credibility. I don't care if someone's white, black, female, gay, Asian, Latino, fat, tall, short, skinny. If they're an idiot, I'm going to call them out. If they're doing great, I'm going to call them out and praise them. No, I, I, if, if you think it's some kind of joke or scam, like why won't NOLA, uh, excuse me, NOLATOYA.org reveal the numbers of signatures? I think it's smart. I agree with what they say. Hey, television audience, see you manana. Check us out on YouTube till 6 o'clock or 93.9 FM. See you tomorrow. Yeah, 4 to 5.30 on television. We go to 6 o'clock on 93.9 FM on YouTube. No, they won't reveal the numbers. But from what I can tell you, I believe they're north of 10,000 signatures right now. I think they're north of 10,000 signatures right now. Now, here's the problem. The beginning's easy. In the beginning, the momentum, people coming out, it, 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 it's, it's easy to get an initial spike. But then it funnels down the enthusiasm, the momentum, folks interested. It, it wanes. And it's hard to keep it up, and that's why it's hard to get a recall going. So right now, it's mostly white people of the 10,000-plus that I can estimate have signed, 10,000-plus, maybe a fifth of the way there, mostly white. It won't work without black signatures, significant number of black signatures. This will not work. So black folks, if, man, someone incompetent that's black like LaToya Cantrell, that's more important to me than, you know, getting someone else in there that may not be black or uh, doing this because it seems that some white people want this to happen, even though two black people started the recall. I mean, Eileen Carter, Nuni Batiste is just regular New Orleans yaddy black guy. They're not backed by white special interests. Are, are white special interests into the recall? Of course they are. They don't like the mayor. They think Latoya Cantrell's incompetent. Are there some folks that are racist or sexist and don't like a black female's mayor? I'm sure there are. But the main thrust of this are, are New Orleanians, and they're the only ones that matter. They're the only ones that signatures matter. So it's mostly white of the guesstimated 10,000 plus legitimate signatures that nolatoya.org has. I think they're about a fifth of the way there, a little north of 10,000. It's mostly white and it will not work with mostly white. It, need, it could be a majority white, north of 50%, but there needs to be a significant number, tens of thousands of black people signing this recall petition. It's only halfway there. Then there's a vote. Then there's a vote. The recall doesn't oust the mayor. The 53,000 plus signatures brings a new election. And that election is, do you want Latoya Cantrell to stay as mayor, which could be the, the, the vote. And then she stays in and it's all over with. Or do you oust the mayor? Then there's another election with qualified candidates that run for the final three years plus of her, of her remaining second term. No, it won't work without black folks. It is a long shot to begin with. But I will tell you a few things that gives it a fighting chance. That gives it a fighting chance. Two things. One, social media today. Constantly, you know, the, the website, nolatoya.org, the social media pushing out where the next signing place is going to be, multiple signing places. Hey, Saturday, we're in the East. We're in Algiers. We're here. We're there. Boy, that's right in my neighborhood. I'll go walk over there and sign. I'll drive over there and sign. 
So social media is keeping it out there. It's not word of mouth. It's not, man, I saw a flyer, you know, stapled to a telephone pole, to a power pole saying there's a signing this weekend. So social media makes it a little different than in the past. Coupled with the fact the mayor just being who she is. Five and a half months, you think she's five months, you think she's just going to be quiet and not go on junkets and not upgrade to first class and not be obnoxious and not do dopey, crazy stuff? Of course she will. Why would that change? She's Latoya Cantrell. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The social media, coupled with just the mayor being herself, will keep it out there. The more obnoxious and belligerent the mayor is, and that's easy to get her there, the more momentum the recall will get. So recall folks are counting on the mayor being Latoya Cantrell, being herself. She'll say something dumb, she'll do something dumb, and then she'll justify it by saying something equally as dumb or worse. So no, social media coupled with the mayor being who she is gives it a fighting chance. But the 10,000 plus guesstimated signatures, about a fifth of the way there are mostly white people. And this will not work without black signatures. Corey Johnson with you. Yeah, no, LaToya.org is the website. Every day we're on radio, television, YouTube, CoreyTalks.com, live streaming. We do it from the Buddy Delaberto River City's Total Maintenance Studios. River City's Total Maintenance is your air conditioning outfit in New Orleans. Honest AC experts that come immediately. What more do you need? Honesty. They can't rip you off. Incapable of doing any service repair or replacement that is not absolutely necessary. They won't screw you around. They're air conditioning experts. They're not guessing how to repair it. They know how to repair it. They do it right. They fix it right the first time. And they know your inconvenience. They come immediately. Honest air conditioning experts that are there right away. That's River City's total maintenance. 841-3300. 841-3300. You can check them out online at nolaac.com. NOLA. AC.com. Every day we broadcast live from the Buddy Deliberto River City's Total Maintenance Studios. It is a wide open Wednesday edition of the program. Hey, Nina Blackwood, one of the first VJs, video disc jockeys, whatever, at MTV. Name me two of the other original, I guess, name two of the three remaining original. DJs. I mentioned Nina Blackwood. I think there are three others. White guy, black guy, and a little petite brunette girl. Name me two of those three, and I'll give you a $50 Woodhouse Day Spa gift certificate. Rouse's Markets phone lines to participate. 504-766-9480. 504-766-9480. 9480 Rouse's Markets phone lines. Corey Johnson with you. The flood control east mistakenly left a valve open at the lake in Bayou St. John. Now the sewage and water board has to pump down Bayou St. John. It is very high from mid city. You know, I mean, almost flooding, almost coming over the top. Flood control east mistakenly leaving a valve open at Bayou St. John, basically by over there by Allen to St. Boulevard by the Greek church. And it flowed a bunch of lake water into Bayou St. John. And uh, now the sewage and water board pumping that Bayou down. So it's going to take a little while. Thank goodness, you know, incredible weather right now as far as no rain. Sunny, clear. Last thing we need is rain to put more water into that Bayou right now or some kind of tropical storm. Although it looks like those spaghetti models have something coming into the golf next week. We could do without that, huh? We're almost to October. We could do without that. Not too many names storm this year. As I'd say the, the crew up in Colorado Springs, or whatever, the Colorado State University hurricane, they butchered this one. So it was like double-digit name storms. We've got like 
just a couple name storms. Corey Johnson with you on a wide open Wednesday. Rouse's Markets phone lines, 504-766-9480. Hey, Latrum's hiring. A culture of innovation in Elmwood, Latrum. They invented the shrimp peeling machine, still the worldwide industry standard. They invented the all-plastic modular conveyor belt. Incredible technology and the worldwide industry standard. This New Orleans born and bred and based company on every continent in the world. They're everywhere. Latrum, a culture of innovation and they're hiring for a full listing of positions available. And it's dozens and dozens and dozens of jobs available, not two or three openings for a full listing of positions available. Go to Latrum.com. Latrum spelled L A I. T-R-A-M, Latrum.com. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at StudyNola.com. When you think of Fury's Restaurant in Metairie, you think about the freshest local seafood anywhere. Shrimp, oysters, speckled trout, flounder, snapper, soft shells, crawfish. Fury's Restaurant in Metairie. Where the city is, total maintenance keeps you cool. Where the city is, total maintenance keeps you cool. The Port of New Orleans Napoleon Terminal is nearly doubling in size with four new gantry cranes being installed and over $100 million being invested. That means lots of new jobs, port traffic, and tax dollars for the city. The Port of New Orleans, your port. At Home Paint and Decorating, our paints are in it for the long haul. In fact, our top bench of more exterior paints come with a lifetime warranty. Not 25 years, not 50 years, we mean forever. You heard right. At Helm Paint, our top exterior paints have a lifetime warranty against chipping, peeling, and flaking. They also are mildew resistant. Imagine painting your home one time and being done with it. Visit any one of our locations today and make that once-in-a-lifetime purchase. Paint that has a lifetime warranty. Helm Paint and Benjamin Moore, let us steer you in the right direction. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Why wear the same old glasses that everyone else is wearing? Stand out from the crowd. Come to Art and Eyes. Art and Eyes is not your typical eyeglasses store. It's one of the finest eyewear shops in the country, right here in New Orleans, with precision engineered prescription lenses and gorgeous high quality frames from the heart of Europe, Japan, and the United States. Our products are thoughtfully curated, and our staff are here to help you find exactly the right frames. Art and Eyes on Magazine, as unique as you. For home surveillance, it's Tommy's Lock and Alarms with high-definition night vision surveillance systems letting you see what's going on. Home surveillance that's smart, safe, secure. Tommy's Lock and Alarms. Google them. Young's Dry Cleaning has free pickup and delivery. That's right. Young's Dry Cleaning has absolutely free pickup and delivery. Home or office, East Bank or West Bank. Call Young's at 288-8381 or online at youngsdrycleaning.com. Rouse's, New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's has the only full-service grocery stores both in the French Quarter on Royal Street and in the CBD on Barone in the old Sewell Cadillac building. The Rouse's on the River, Chapatulis at Napoleon, is in a century-old warehouse. And uptown on Ferret at the corner of Valence is Rouse's all-new boutique store. With seven locations in Orleans Parish, Rouse's is New Orleans Grocery Store. Rouse's Markets. Taste like home. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrum family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrum company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. 
If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrum.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. The Woodhouse Day Spa, the premier day spa experience, is now more convenient than ever. Now open the Woodhouse Day Spa, Metairie location, West Esplanade at Transcontinental. Metairie and Kenner's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa. If you love Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City, you're going to love Bienvenue in Harahan. The same folks bringing a little of that New Orleans flavor to Hickory Avenue. If you love Katie's, come to Bienvenue on Hickory Avenue in Harahan. You're talking about France from which we come. I mean, it, listen, we're talking about practice. You're talking about France that has an ambassador living in the city of New Orleans. We're talking about practice. You're talking about France. We're talking about practice. You're talking about France. But we're talking about practice, man. You're talking about France. And we're talking about practice. What are we talking about? Talking about France. Practice? France. But we're talking about practice right now. You're talking about France that has residents and uh, artists in residence right here in the city of New Orleans. Over four of them. <laughs> We're talking about practice. You're talking about France. We're talking about practice. You're talking about France from which we've come. But we talking about France. <laughs> it's funny to me too. I mean, it's strange, it's strange to me too. <laughs> Talking about France. Hmm, you're stumping me again, Jason. I'm gonna go with like Johnny Sketch or something like that. I don't know, it's not Kermit. It is? That's Kermit? Wow. It's usually a little, I don't want to say sloppy, or just something a little, yeah, looser maybe. That seemed a little regimented there for Kermit. <laughs> yep. Corey Johnson with you, Jason, a.k.a. the Raging Cajun, a.k.a. the Man in Black at the Controls. A wide open Wednesday edition of the program. Phones lines are open. 504-766-9480. I'm tired of asking that LSU trivia question. The only quarterback to beat LSU four times in the history of college football. Someone's got to know the answer to that, Tiger fans. Mississippi State QB. The only quarterback to beat LSU four times in the history of college football, in the history of LSU. The only quarterback to beat LSU four times. What's really unlikely about it is 40-something years ago, this is during the Stovall era at Mississippi State. How many more hints do I have to give you? Freshmen didn't start back then. Freshmen didn't start, especially at quarterback. Final hint, Sports Illustrated ran an article highlighting State and this quarterback and they started the article with like a James Bond reference because he he had some broken ribs or sprained ribs or something and wore a flak jacket to protect his ribs. So the article started, you know, like James Bond, how he introduces himself, you know, the name's Bond, James Bond. It started like that. Anyway, I'm going to answer that trivia question tomorrow for sure if we don't get an answer because it's been out there like three days, and I figured some Tiger fan would know. I remember this guy, too. And I remember State. I mean, just Jerry Stovall was 0 for 4. LSU probably in the last 43 years since 1980. I'm just guessing, 43 years? I I I bet you LSU was like 33 and 10 against Mississippi State, like literally. Like 30-something and 10 or 12 over 43 years of games. But like a third of those wins are the four straight they won from 80 to 83. Mississippi State owned LSU. Since then, LSU has flat out owned Mississippi State. 
Hey, Young's Dry Cleaning, my dry cleaner for a few decades. I love Ace in the Hole type stuff. My Ace in the Hole. Got air conditioning. I got my Italian, got my Chinese food, got my doctor, my vet. Angel cuts my hair. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Especially as you get older, you you funnel it down. You eliminate the jokers. You stick with the pros. Ace in the hole. Young's Dry Cleaning's my ace in the hole. Has been for a long time. Same thing for many New Orleanians. They've been around since 1940. 80 plus years of excellence. You want to experience the best dry cleaner? Find out more online. Youngsdrycleaning.com. Youngsdrycleaning.com. Dot com wide open Wednesday edition of the program. The city council, particular members, Helena Moreno, JP Morell, a message to the mayor. Hey, mayor, pay back the twenty nine thousand dollars in flight upgrades like you're supposed to city law, city ordinance. Pay back the twenty nine grand that you've publicly said you're not paying back or we'll dock it from your paycheck. Simple as that. Now, what the mayor is going to do, in my opinion, she's going to pull a John Alario, Walter Reed, Heitmeyer brothers, you know, that type of gimmick. We'll use campaign funds, if they're available, to pay back the 29000 bucks. She doesn't want to use those campaign funds. She wants to use uh, campaign funds for personal expenses that she can justify, like, or try to, like Walter Reed and Heitmeyer brothers and Alario. Just no ethics, man. No morals. Just what can I take for free? Just scumbags. Anyway, and Reed's the only one that got popped. Alario should have got popped for the same thing. Anyway, they're basically saying pay back the money or we'll dock your paycheck. The mayor is not going to want any money docked out of her paycheck. So she's going to use campaign funds, I think, to pay back the twenty nine grand. But I love Helena Moreno and J.P. Morrell stepping up. They're not trying to attack the mayor. The mayor's abusing the system. The mayor is taking advantage. The mayor's trying to justify a junket, a trip for her, first off as city business, which is BS, and then has the nerve to have first-class airline flights as a part of it. And when they're when a flight to the French Riviera is eighteen thousand six hundred dollars, New Orleanians got pissed. Man, that was the down payment for my house, eighteen thousand six hundred. Man, that that was what I paid for my last car, eighteen thousand six hundred dollars. It's inconceivable for ninety nine point nine percent of the Orleans parish population. I would say 99.9% of the Orleans Parish populations never paid more than 10 grand for any kind of flight. Who would want to pay that? I'd be ticked off if I had to pay 1,800 bucks, two grand for a flight. Yeah, dude, I'm glad I went on that vacation. The damn airfare was two grand. I'd be pissed. That would suck. 18,600. It's not conceivable. Plus three and a half days. You can't even adjust to the jet lag. Who goes three and a half days to the French Riviera? Obnoxious. No, if the, the this this ordinance or, or or making the mayor pay it back will fix two things. One, the city gets their money back. And two, it'll stop these junkets. Because the mayor's not gonna pay for first class herself. Are you kidding me? The mayor's not gonna do this ever again in her life. The 15 minutes are coming up soon. So she's Blowing it out. No, I love this ordinance. It's brilliant. I like the $1,000 cap that was originally proposed. Have the mayor come to the council and say, man, I'm going visit to Seattle. I'm visiting with, you know, the Microsoft chairman about jobs for New Orleans. Okay, we'll approve that. Not first class, but we'll approve that the trip and you're going to spend over a grand will pay for that. The city will have the council approve that. But these little secret junkets that aren't revealed till the flight's in the air and the mayor acts like it's legitimate. Come on. We're all adults. That That's probably the worst part. You're really going to lie to us like this and such a lame answer and, and you expect us to, to, to take that as real? Just no respect. Mayor doesn't have respect for the citizens. So, no, I like this. Pay back the 29 grand in flight upgrades. Or we'll dock your pay. 
Brilliant Helena Moreno. Brilliant JP Morrell. Brilliant. Hey, if you missed the four o'clock hour, you missed a lot. Councilman Oliver Thomas joined us yesterday in New Orleans East. Oliver Thomas's niece and her friend in the car. An SUV pulls up. Four men get out, unload, uh, uh, reportedly over 50 bullet casings in the street. Oliver Thomas's niece's friend murdered. Oliver Thomas's niece, one bullet to the face, one to the head. She's in critical condition from the hospital. Oliver Thomas joined us last hour from the hospital live. You can check that out on YouTube, Anchor, iTunes, Spotify. Hey, you in the car right now on the causeway? I got a phone number for you, Trey Yen. Why don't you get a to-go order? 985-626-4476. 626-4476. Curbside delivery. They walk it right out to your car. Why don't you get a big to-go order tonight? Dinner. Trey Yen, Mandeville. Super Discount Store in Chalmette. 3235 Paris Road. The lowest price allowed by Louisiana law on wine, alcohol, and beer. Worth the drive from anywhere. If you're throwing a party and eat wine, alcohol, and cold beer, Super Discount Store in Chalmette. In New Orleans, we don't eat to live. We live to eat. More is better. Scott Craig of Katie's. That is our slogan. More is better at Katie's. It means more of everything. Not just more food, more smiles, more friendship, more love. More, more, more. When you do something, you have to do it right. It's all about more, and it's all more of the good things. Get more at Katie's Restaurant in Mid-City. For game-changing innovation, look to the Latrim family of companies located in Harahan. Intralox, a Latrim company, changed the game when they invented modular plastic conveyor belts over 40 years ago. These belts and innovative Intralox technology are transforming movement in manufacturing facilities around the world. Intralox is a dynamic global company now hiring in production, warehousing, shipping, and more. If you want to be part of our successful team, visit Latrim.com. That's L-A-I-T-R-A-M.com. Come on down to New Orleans' own Bourbon Street, the toilet of the Crescent City. Literally. Need to urinate? Pee right on one of the historic buildings. Need to vomit? It's okay. Throw up right in the street. Bourbon Street, prostitution, drugs, strip joints, daiquiri shops, and trinket stores. The toilet of the Crescent City. Come on down. It's Bourbon Street. For home surveillance, it's Tommy's Lock and Alarm. With smart home technology, control lights, locks, cameras, thermostat, and your alarm, all from your phone or laptop. Smart, safe, secure. Tommy's Lock and Alarms. Google them. Greater New Orleans, a destination for learning. With 13 colleges and universities and a booming job market, Greater New Orleans is the ultimate destination for your higher education. Your path to the future begins in Greater New Orleans. Find out more at studynola.com. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, it's open now. We fix cars and trucks. We do all makes and models, and it doesn't have to be a Ford or a Lincoln. It could be whatever you're driving, 32,000 square feet under roof, now open at 3101 Williams Boulevard. It's all about you, the customer, getting the most for your dollar. I would say the most perfect collision center anyway. The Lamarck Automotive Collision Center, 3101 Williams Boulevard. Go check it out. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. Dave Miet Insurance Agency. Auto, home, flood, business. 504-556-0809. Dave Miet, insagency.com. The city's premier day spa experience is at the Woodhouse Day Spa with four area locations, New Orleans, Slidell, Baton Rouge, and Metairie. A day of relaxation is just moments away at the Woodhouse Day Spa. nola.woodhousespas.com. Hey, heading home from work? There's a Rouse's Market on the way home. Best quality, best price, best selection. Those aren't just lines. Those aren't just words. Best quality, best price, best selection. Tastes like home. It is home. It's New Orleans grocery. It's Rouse's Markets. Over 20 Rouse's in Metro New Orleans. Pretty amazing. 
I love Rouse's. Rouse's Markets tastes like home. Wide open Wednesday edition of the program. Corey Johnson with you. It is where New Orleans talks. If you missed the 4 o'clock hour, you missed a lot. Oliver Thomas joined us on the program. Live from the hospital where his 25-year-old niece is in critical condition after being shot in the face and head. Her friend, the female passenger in the car, murdered. Four gentlemen jumping out of an SUV in broad daylight yesterday in New Orleans East and shooting up her vehicle. Over 50 bullet casings, reportedly. Over 50 in the street. A somber Oliver Thomas joined us last hour. You can check it out on YouTube, Anchor, iTunes, Spotify. What's that, Blue Boy? Just a sad story. You know, Oliver said it best. You're right, Blue. The criminals are more aggressive to attack us than we are to catch them. No, it was pretty strong by Oliver. New Orleans, thanks for joining us. See you mañana, Thursday, 93.9 FM, New Orleans. Yeah, you right.